I just thought I'd uh, show this lovely example of what can best be described as tat. Um, you've probably seen on Facebook and other places these adverts for gold foil plated 24 karat gold plated playing cards you can buy. Um, it, one of these complete clickbait sites that has uh, a thing saying special offer, limited time, only 53 minutes left, only five packs left, normally £70, yours for 14 95 or something. And then you discover it's an American site selling in dollars, shipping in two to four weeks if you're lucky. But I actually thought the cards looked quite cool. So I ordered some from Amazon and they have packs from as little as £2. I think this was £6 because it comes in a case. Um, and the first thing about the case, as you can see, is this, this is, it's not a label, this is a sort of gold, goldy thing with sticky back, um, stuck on the lid, but it's wonky. So that gives you a, a big clue that we're talking about tat here. We then open the box and there appears to be some sort of glue down the bottom here, which is interesting. Um, there's a little certificate in here, so you actually, certificate them out, he said, failing to. Not the easiest thing to do. So there's a little certificate in there. It says certificate on it. You know, it looks really impressive. It's uh, it's telling you it's gold foil, 99.9% .9 pure 24 karat gold, which um, it probably is. It's probably about an atom thick. <clears throat> and then you have the pack of cards. Now, what actually arrived, um, this was all unstuck, but it's sort of, it is the tackiest box of cards you've seen. It's, sort of double-sided cell tape. And then we have fun, because I can't actually get the damn thing open, because this is some sort of plasticky material with the gold plate on. Same material as the cards, actually. But it's actually quite tough, and this is sort of clipped in here. I can't get it out. So I ended up having to get my trusty pen knife out with a screwdriver and sort of <sighs> force the whole thing open like that, which was a bit of a pain. As you, can, as you can see, the pack isn't terribly um, easy to use, but if you get the cards out, I'll put the certificate away. They aren't they aren't um, they aren't actually bad. Uh, the cards look well. I say look okay. I mean, each card, the metallic is clearly done individually for the card. You can tell by the backing, and then there's overprinting in red and other colours. But the K there is quite slightly misaligned to the to the gold foil backing. And the same with the six is there. It looks like a double image sort of on the six. Um, but, you know, overall, they don't look too bad as cards go. Fancy pattern. Uh, this particular pack has a rather dodgy um, sort of distorted version of um, a 50 pound note on the back. But, and they are sort of made from some sort of plastic, as you can just about tell. But it means they do actually shuffle reasonably well. Like I said, not being really good at shuffling. And you can, you know. So we haven't actually tried playing with them yet, but for two quid, quite fun. I was thinking that they they probably are more of the grade of cards we should have been using in Sweet Fourteen Thousand on the Jade, because you know, gold-plated playing cards, of course. We actually borrowed a pack from the card room on the ship. Um, but uh, we'll actually have a try playing with them and seeing if they're any good. I've now lost the jokers, haven't I? Because I shuffled them. That was clever. Where did I put them? Yes, yeah, so there's two jokers in there. Um, so there you go. Gold plated playing cards, or gold foil coated playing cards. I'll try and not put that together too much because it's impossible to open. Tacky as hell. I wouldn't want to give it as a present, I don't think, but they are fun.